This is Sergey Belov from Lake Neuraklan Swim Club and the video is presented by Tom Valor of Tennis. Today's topic is going to be one-handed back in power. First progression, we're actually going to take a medicine ball. You don't need your icon or a tennis ball. And we're going to try to uh, toss the ball over the net, trying to use our core and staying sideways. That's very important for our backhand, uh, one-handed backhand. Because you don't want to use your uh, arm only, you want to use your hips a little bit at the beginning of the stroke and finish with the hand separate. In the second progression, we're going to work on keeping our left hand back. Very important part of one hand back because you don't want to overturn as you hit the ball because the ball is going to go cross court most of the time, you're going to miss hit it. So we're going to have a band that is going to attach to our left hand. You're going to keep your racket uh, with your left hand and then you're going to swing forward. The band is going to pull your left hand back so you're going to get the feel of how to stay sideways. going to work on our legs so you're going to sit on the bench you're going to stay sideways going to bring your racket up close to your shoulder and then you're going to get up and swing at the ball at the same time make sure you're not getting up before you swing you got to use your legs at the same time as you swing at the ball In the next progression, we're just going to focus on one very important part of uh, hitting the ball. You will have to transfer your body weight into the ball. A lot of people tend to step on their toes first and then swing, and uh, which causes them to push their body weight backwards. And now we're going to try to go from your heel to your toe. So we're just going to do one element. You're going to swing in the ball, but make sure you focus on transfer your body from your heel to your toe, which is going to force uh, you to go into the ball and make the step after you hit the ball. The next progression where you're going to work on racket head speed acceleration, very important part of hitting one handed backhand. Now make sure when you swing, do not drop your racket back, don't bring your racket too high, it makes it very complicated to time the swing. Now make sure you keep your swings very compact and short because you're going to turn your shoulders, that's where you're going to generate power from the core, coming from your legs. We're going to fit the ball uh, very quickly, very frequently, and you're going to hit off the air. So make sure you accelerate your racket, maximize uh, acceleration right at the point of contact, right before the point of contact, swing through the ball and separate your hands in order to stay sideways. You got all the parts together, you're filling your back in. So just get a basket of balls and try to swing in the ball and see how much power you get on your back in. Uh, if you start feeling the ball a little bit better and you transfer your body and accelerating really well. 